Okay, so this video is gonna be kind of interesting. I wanted to try to do this in a vlog style format, but I got a free PC. Um, let's go look at it real quick. So as I mentioned, I got a PC for free and it was actually from a friend of Zach's who is our new manager of the YouTube channel. If you haven't seen that announcement video or anything related to that, it's probably because it hasn't been uploaded yet, but there is gonna be some information about what's gonna be going on with the channel with the new manager edition. So stay tuned for that. So this is the PC we got. This is a Dell XPS PC, and it actually has more than just a pre-built system inside it. It's more or less a system that was upgraded to be a gaming PC based on just it being a pre-built and then added a GPU. So that's basically what the concept is of this PC. But what exactly is inside it? So as you can tell on the inside of this PC, you get a little bit of a mess. It's a little dusty in there, uh, but what it seems to consist of is a graphics card, which I have confirmed is a GTX. 960 and a couple dims of RAM in there which might be 8 gigs or 4 gigs I don't know and the CPU which I'm still not 100% sure what it is but we're gonna go ahead and boot it up I got everything plugged in right now we're gonna go ahead hit the power button and kind of just see what happens here all right waiting for a boot signal okay we're on the boot screen it's in Windows okay good sign the user did say that this thing was boot looping for him where basically it was stuck on the Windows screen and would loop right back so we'll see if that issue happens again I think it's doing it actually I think that was just a boot loop right here um, yeah it's trying to do a restore and I think it might be stuck so what I think this thing needs is just a fresh install of Windows and then we might actually be up and running because yeah it just did a whole boot loop again it's back to where it was so we're gonna do a fresh install of Windows and go with that So basically right now what I'm doing is doing a fresh install of Windows on this hard drive which appears to be a 1.5 terabyte hard drive which is a weird file size to think about because I haven't seen much of those in a long time so this is a pretty old hard drive but we're going to boot this thing up and exact see exactly what we have to work with but I'm thinking what I'm going to do is pick up something over on my shelf over here to kind of upgrade this system a little bit and that's going to be the Seasonic Focus M Power Supply. Now Seasonic sent this over a little while ago and again I apologize Seasonic I really wanted to do a video with this sooner but I just never got around to it. I never found a use case for it yet. And this system right here being a U slash new PC and has a power supply in it that looks like it could explode at any moment could actually be a good upgrade case for the Focus M power supply. So let's go ahead and throw that in there after this thing reinstalls Windows and then we should be able to do some benchmarks. The one downside of having a hard drive in the system is, well, it's a hard drive, and these boot times are notoriously slow. The system has probably a lot of power left in it, and I just want to know. I just really want to know what kind of CPU is in this thing. I'm thinking it's an i7-2600, but I don't know for certain yet. Um, we're going to boot into this and kind of figure that out eventually. So this whole thing is kind of a work in progress as you can tell since I'm doing a vlog style. I'm showing you my thinking process, but I kind of had an idea. The motherboard inside this looks somewhat micro ATX and I have a spare micro ATX case in the basement. So let me take you right there so you can see exactly what the basement looks like. So some OG viewers would actually be very familiar with this basement because we did a 24 hour live stream down here for uh, Extra Life Charity a few years ago. So if you're an OG viewer, you remember this area, but uh, I kind of ran out of room in my room. So my stuff ended up down here and yeah, you can see all the crap that we have going on down here. But the reason I'm down here is for one case, which is the Masterbox Q300L from Cooler Master. 
this poor little guy has been shoved down here into the abyss and I had no micro ATX build for it. But it appears right now I may have something. So let's take this upstairs. Time to go. Now this is the Cooler Master Q300L, which has a really cool mesh front panel to it that I really, really like. It's actually a magnetic filter, but the design on it looks really cool, and I like this case a lot for that, and it is micro ATX, and I wanted to put this case to good use by adding the Seasonic power supply to it, along with just these new parts that I got, and oh look! The windows is ready to go so we're gonna go ahead finish this up and then start transferring over the parts into this new case and kind of give this new little old pc some new life if that makes any sense at all so let's get right into it now before getting into the rest of this video i want to give a big thank you to rode for sending over their ntg4 plus microphone which i'm using right now at the very beginning of this video i was actually using a shotgun microphone that i got for like 20 bucks on amazon and now i have this microphone right here which is super far and far and superior compared to the other microphone that I was using and it has helped me a lot with producing very high quality audio for our YouTube channel so if you are interested in picking up this microphone link in the description down below and also stay tuned for a video coming to the channel where I talk about my on camera set which is actually very easy to put together and kind of cost effective so be sure to stay tuned for that now let's get back to that PC build. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now I wanna push all the limits with you right now So watch your feelings, the city's screaming when I'm coming home tonight We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now People talk and tell what you wanna hear now But they all disappear, they will let you down, so But you're trying to deny That we should be together It's heavy 